What is up, Priest Planet? It is a Tarot Priest. I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, I'm going to be looking at what is the key to unlocking your success. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, my username is the Tarot Priest, where I will be posting inspiring and encouraging content throughout the week on Instagram. So most of my announcements and anything that I'm up to or I'm doing, you will find me on Instagram where I'm much more interactive. Also an update is my YouTube merchandise, the Core Planet Collection of Love, Peace and Freedom, which is calming, inspiring and healing the planet. So if you guys are interested in that, you can find that down below, including this t-shirt in the YouTube merchandise reel underneath my description box. If you guys are interested in any of the things that I'm doing, all of the information you guys might be seeking, you'll find in the description box below. So if you guys wanna become a Patreon, you guys can join my Patreon planet. What I'm doing in the Patreon group is posting general readings that is only accessible to my Patreons and also posting your guys' name in the description box to show my gratitude and thank you guys for supporting the planet and being a part of the Priest Planet. All right. Let's get into the four different decks that I do have. I have deck number one, key number one, deck number two, key number two, deck number three, key number three, and deck number four, key number four. Let's hop into this reading and figure out what are the keys to unlocking your success. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and what is the key to unlocking your success? Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. We'll keep that there. Eight of Swords. King of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. So right off the bat, I can tell you that a lot of you are holding yourself back from success. There's some fears there that you guys have to release. Some doubts, disbeliefs, or fears about prospering. So a lot of you feel as though you should have more and being financially free. However, you're not, you're having a hard time manifesting this. With the Queen of Pentacles, this tells me that you guys are naturally manifestors of prosperity. However, there is a blockage. I also feel like it's a blockage in the sense of lacking creativity and creative flow. So with the Queen of Wands in verse, reverse, this tells me that you guys are not really walking in your power of creativity and creating new energy so that you guys can manifest success. King of Pentacles, for some of you guys, you are made to be entrepreneurs and have financial success. And the King of Pentacles doesn't really worry about money, delegates, makes decisions. A lot of you have entrepreneurship energy and creating however there's a blockage in creating and i also feel like a lot of you have these high aspirations and you psych yourself out of these great things that you know that you're supposed to achieve for instance a lot of these visions of what you're supposed to have and the financial stability and the financial security and freedom that you're meant to have some of you have seen this vision but psyched yourself out because it seems too big and a lot of you are questioning how this is going to happen so you know that you're supposed to be prosperous however you're having some difficulties manifesting this this is coming from the eight of swords so this is all about imprisonment mentally so you are in the way of yourself and i'm going to explain this to you guys as i get more into the tarot Two of Pentacles, I calmly make the best decision possible. So a lot of you feel as though I feel like trapped and you're, you have this idea that there's not enough opportunity and some of you are at a job currently and you feel as though you're stuck there, but that's not true. Three of Wands, I have the energy I need to realize my goals. So you guys do have goals. Uh, for a few of you, very few of you, you are older and feel as though you missed the mark or that you, you have fears around being successful with age. So it's also about disassociating yourself from age and the belief that, okay, I'm 30, I just turned 30, I should have that house already, I should have that dream car, I should have my family and be married. That for some of you, that is your success 
and you're learning to disassociate yourself from labels that age and the stipulations that society has on what you should accomplish by this age is pretty much BS. And it's also about freeing yourself from the obligation or the expectation that you need to be successful at this specific time. That is actually also hindering you guys. Um, for the majority of you, even if it's not the age situation, it's coming to terms with understanding that it's not too late to go after what it is that you desire and you're not trapped in the current situation that you're in. As far as prosperity, a lot of you are worried about money and opportunity, um, but you're also learning to trust your knowing and trust your heart. Nine of Pentacles and deserving financial security. I was just talking about this earlier. A lot of us have gotten into the law of attraction and that's great. However, we're miss we're missing an important piece of law of attraction and manifestation, which is receiving. So a lot of us feel as though we're ready for prosperity or more financial abundance and success, but subconsciously we don't feel like we deserve it. And so when the universe answers your prayer or the desire in your heart, you feel like it's either too good to be true or you miss it because you have this expectation of how it's supposed to come to you. And so a lot of the law of attraction is not just attracting it, but when it comes being open to receive it, this comes from a place of deserving financial security. For some of you, it's on the way and it is slow, but it's almost like the, I hear the universe is saying that you're not ready. You're not ready because of the limited beliefs that you have about how you have to receive it, when you're going to receive it. It's also about being open to receiving. You never know how success is going to be um, presented to you. It could be through a successful relationship. It could be through health. Um, and so also you're learning gratitude, but also that you deserve financial security. Six of Pentacles, I give and receive in the universe good. So a lot of Pentacle energy, but this is also about understanding that <laughs> you are afraid of mm, not having enough money. And this fear is making it very hard for you to manifest, right? So you're supposed to be this king of pinnacles. You're supposed to have more money, more financial security. A lot of you are CEOs of companies, entrepreneurs, building these empires. However, you're, you have fears around money, but it's also about understanding that as you release money onto others, you give to yourself. We're all one. It's the law of exchange. You guys are also learning that some of you guys are hoarders or you're afraid of spending money because you're afraid that you will not have enough. And so these fears are also preventing you from being able to manifest and produce more income for yourself. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. So doing things differently, there's opportunities that are and options that are being presented to you, but it's going to take you jumping out of your comfort zone to do so. And also your comfort zone of some of you guys are used to making a certain amount of money that's not a lot in the month, being open to receiving more. If I were to ask you how much you're gonna make next month, if you have a definite answer or knowing around, that tells me that you're not open to more receiving or more um, being able to receive more uh, because you should not know how much you're gonna make next month. You should not know that. That means that you're open. You don't know. You could be blessed in this way. You could be blessed in that way, but you also have to feel like you deserve it <laughs> there's a lot of strenuous energy around feeling bad about asking people for money. Now, the reason why I say this is because if you're an entrepreneur, some of you are entrepreneurs and you don't even realize that you're giving away your services and your products for free. So for those of you who are on the phone late nights giving advice and helping people, this is a service that you are providing. However, you are not charging for the service or something that you know how to do, whether it's cooking, whether it's cleaning for other people, whether it's uh, babysitting or driving people around or helping assist others, create a service for that. And so the reason why I'm saying the comfort zone is don't be afraid to ask for abundance in exchange for your services.
that is completely okay. So a lot of you are learning that and uh, the universe is bringing opportunities to you in the things that you know how to do and in order to make more money. But there is a comfort zone and an area where you like to stay in. And so it's also understanding that there's much more. And that's why I say you should not know how much money you're making next month because you don't know it, and, and that not knowing opens up, um, <laughs> opens you up to receiving more. And if you have that set number, it tells me that you um, are stuck on that, that cap of income and success. And again, success is subjective to you. Success is going to be different, but the cool thing, and I'm going to tell everyone in the deck is success is merely an opinion. It's just measured by opinion. And how do we measure success? That's a good question to ask yourself. How do you measure success? Whether it's health, a healthy family, a healthy relationship, um, a good job or income. It's up to you as to what you feel like is success. Conclusions are within reach. So it seems like a lot of you are coming to a concluding matter of releasing old things, releasing old jobs and being open to new energy and going after your goals. Some of you are going to start that side project on the side um, while you're also working. Gentleness, being gentle with yourself, not being so hard on yourself. So it's like, I know I'm supposed to have this. I know I'm supposed to be successful. I can feel it in my bones, but I'm not manifesting. And that's because you also, you're learning. Even right now, you guys are learning how to receive abundance, how to receive success. A lot of you with that have chosen this deck, you have to understand that you're worthy of it. And there are just a lot of limited beliefs around success that I'm picking up on. Now, gentleness, being gentle with yourself, speak words of love. So you guys are progressing, not, not to be so hard on yourself, but I understand that it can be very complicated when you know you're supposed to be successful, but you're just not there yet. Um, discernment. You guys are on your way though. Um, discerning, staying true to yourself, staying true to your knowing, um, keeping your dreams a secret and freedom. Some of you are holding yourself back from success. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised at how many people are not feeling really deserving of success. And it's a subconscious feeling, but with the freedom card, this is about releasing yourself from your comfort zone. Some of you need to just book a trip, even if it's a couple of hours away from your city and step out of your comfort zone, get out and do something differently. Some of you guys are going to that same nine to five job every single day and you're not introducing anything new. I'm almost feeling like you need new energy, new energy so that you guys can get this creative spark going with the queen of wands. So you guys can create living free, living without borders wandering. Some of you guys need to travel and see something new so you can be inspired. You've kind of been seeing the same things, taking the same route to work, doing the same exact routine, sitting in the same chair, sitting in the same desk, driving in the same car. We need to get out of your comfort zone and do something that's going to make you anxious, right? So also we have answer the call. What is your soul calling to do? Your higher self has been trying to free you from the life that you've been living because you've been just a little bit too comfortable, too complacent in life with the same income coming in with the same friends. Um, I feel as though a lot of you are shifting and setting yourself free, but answering the call. What is it that your soul is longing and calling you to do? It is calling you to leap. Take the leap of faith. This seems to also be the trend right now. You go first, the universe will catch you. Like I have been saying in a lot of my training and my videos is that we, and especially you guys, are in a place where we're shifting, learning how to manifest, right? A lot of us feel like we have to see it to believe it, but the manifestation comes from believing and then seeing it. Believing is internal, the imagination, the dream, that's the believing, and then it manifests. And so a lot of us have it backwards. We feel like we have to see how this is going to work. And I need to know exactly like when I land, are, is there going to be someone to pick me up? Who's going to get me? Like, these are the questions that you guys are having because you have been so stuck in this um, comfort zone that you are afraid of leaping because of the unknown, where you're going to land. 
A lot of you have questions. And so you're learning how to release that and trust your knowing. So a lot of the success is coming from trusting your higher self and your intuition to lead you down the right path to the things that you really want. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Well deserved. What did I just say? You guys have to believe that you deserve this. So um, a lot of you guys, if someone wrote you a check in the grocery store for you know $10,000, you probably wouldn't take it because you don't feel like you did anything to deserve it. This is also a limited belief that, um, that prohibits these things from actually happening. Like I said, you have to believe it and then it will happen. But how many of us truly believe that someone would just write a random check like that because of nothing? So a lot of you have a belief that you have to earn it right and so this is where you're getting your feeling of just like i have to deserve it and this also comes from childhood of feeling like you have to earn it or work hard to get it that's not true right earning it some people would say this is hard work i love what i do and so do i earn it i don't know what that definition of earning it will be but if i'm just being myself and helping you guys um then i'm grateful for the abundance that comes my way so there is some limiting beliefs around feeling like you deserve it Moving on, again, away from this job, away from the comfort zone is what you're moving from, right? You guys are moving out of comfort and it can be scary. Embrace, what? <sighs> you guys have to be open to receiving. It's almost like there's this vault, this umbrella, right? It's the vor vortex, some people call it, and this spiritual place. And it's just a lot of success waiting to be dropped in your hands but a lot of you are blocking it by feeling like you have to earn it work harder do these things you limit how money comes to you how success comes to you because you believe it has to be exactly like this like this like this like this and so you're learning how to just be open just be open to embrace and receive that's it i'm open to receive more success that is what you guys should be saying. So comment that down below if you guys do receive that. I am open to receiving more success in my life, okay? This already just repeating it is allowing you guys to uh, open up more spiritually so that you can receive. All right, let's see what else we have here. Seek, yeah. So this is also a disconnect from higher self in order to find this... Also, it's like, it's like a lot of you are seeking yourself and seeking your greatness. A lot of you just don't realize how great you are and how successful you are really meant to be. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. So with the queen of wands, like I said, there is a lack of creativity, but it's because of your comfort zone. It's because of you not being extremely inspired about the things that you're doing because it's kind of the same routine. Experiencing grace, share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. <laughs> this grace is not for other people. This grace is for yourself. Look back at the decisions. A lot of you guys are just like, I've been here at this place working for so many years. How the hell did this happen? Like time just flew by. Have compassion for yourself and grace for yourself um, for the decisions that you made in the past because now you're on you're on the right path now and that's okay. So having grace on yourself. So inspiration and love is coming to you. Also the emperor walking in your own power. You guys could be in Aries. I think that's the only thing I, Aries or definitely an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn because there's so much earth energy here. But this is Aries energy, the emperor, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. Um, a lot of you have some fears of being independent, but you guys will be able to do that. Five of Ariel, you need not go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Changing your thoughts, freeing yourself from these thoughts of imprisonment, right? Um, being open to that. There's fear of lack, that fear of lack also. We have the nine of Raphael, make a wish, dreams becoming reality, a joyful time of life. 
So this is all about enjoying life and enjoying your dreams, creating them into reality also. But in order to do that, it's about getting out of your comfort zone. And then we also have the 10 love and blessings fill your life. So this is a wish fulfillment and also full contentment that you guys are on your way to. So the absolute key for you guys is freeing yourself mentally. Okay. Freeing yourself from the doubts and the fears, freeing yourself from feeling like you have to do something to deserve this financial security. Um, the universe loves you. God loves you. Whatever you choose to call God loves you and wants to bless you with the desires of your heart so that you can have the ultimate experience here on earth. So love and blessings fill your light, harmonious relationships, families, right? Coming together. A lot of you are getting closer with your families and um, also seeing they're part of your soul tribe. But this tells me that you are going to have success in your relationship and your relationships are going to be successful as well. The also the key is to receive this right strength. You could be a Leo strength and confidence in what taking the leap. You're taking the leap to freedom. Ultimately is taking the leap and having self-confidence and crazy enough at the bottom of the card. It says forgiveness, forgive yourself for the past decisions because now you're on the right path. All right. And then the last card belong to your own dream, create your own life. And this card represents not feeling bad for going after your dreams, understanding that your dreams are the most important thing that is worthy of your faith in order to obtain happiness and freedom. And so right now it's about your dream right? And so your key to success again is receiving this, right? Being free, answering the call, going after your dreams, getting out of your comfort zone, being creative, moving on from this comfort zone, making decisions and concluding decisions about what your, your next step is going to be. It's just taking the leap and allowing the universe to guide you after that. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and what is the key to unlocking your success. And don't forget to comment down below so that I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. I'm going to move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what is the key to unlocking your success? All right, key to unlocking success. A lot of you have jobs that you are not passionate about. A lot of you um, are not feeling like you're fulfilled in relationships and are questioning a lot of decisions in your current life. You could be a Libra or have Libra in your chart. Also, I want to tell you first off that the life that you're currently living is not the end all be all for you guys. So if you guys have had this inkling feeling of this is, I hope this is not what I'm going to be doing every day. This is not the life that you were meant to live. Um, and so that's what I'm seeing too. There is a little impatience on your behalf with uh, being able to manifest, but you guys are definitely moving forward from past situations. Let's see what else this is about. I am naturally creative with the queen of wands, queen of swords. I protect what matters to me. So a lot of you are walking in your power of being more of a leader, but also it seems like with this deck, uh, it's more of an unfulfillment in love in relationships. That's for some of you, you feel like your success is in relationships. And a lot of you guys are just questioning if you're going to be married or if you're going to have children or if you're finally going to get justice, even with this justice card twice, you could definitely be a Libra. Um, I speak my trueness and fairness to myself. A lot of you are being asked to leave decisions that you are in, uh, whether that's a job that you feel like is not fulfilling to you or a relationship, especially that you feel like is not fulfilling to you with the Ace of Cups. Now, it's about being true to yourself with this deck right? Being true to yourself, following your happiness, and also not feeling bad about that. So a lot of you are questioning your current relationship. If you're in a relationship or if you, you've left a relationship, questioning if you've made the right decision, uh, but you're putting yourself first. And so this, this key to success is putting yourself first and also going after your own happiness. Being patient is also the key. 
and strength you could be a leo so this tells me too that you guys are going through a huge decision right now currently in your life and this decision is leading and setting you up for success so a lot of you have prayed i want success when is success going to come i know i'm supposed to be successful and have the desires of my heart remember that success is subjective so your success and my success are going to be two different things like i've been telling the other decks also success is simply just an opinion measured by how you choose to define it, right? So your success is your opinion versus everyone else's. And a lot of you are basing success off of numbers. And unfortunately, um, I see that a key to success for you guys would be releasing that stipulation or expectation of seeing these numbers that define your success, right? Success is internal and should be internal if you are desiring long-term fulfillment of success and not temporary success, right? You know, a certain amount of views on videos, certain amount of likes, chasing these things is, is like filling an empty void. And so a lot of you also, I'm hearing, you need to establish what success means to you, right? And for you, I'm telling you that a key to your success is certainly your own individual happiness. I stand my ground and look for peace. So a lot of you are making decisions uh, based off of peace and protecting that peace, protecting that harmony, protecting that love. And the universe is trying to push you out of this comfortable place. Um, again, it could be job, relationships, um, even friends. Some of you guys have been friends with people for a long time and you're being asked to kind of move forward because you're evolving right? A lot of you have prayed and manifested new things and it requires you to get rid of old things to make room. And so that can be very uncomfortable. Also a new start. So you guys have a new start on the other side of making this decision, right? And so you're standing your ground, you're looking for peace, but it's a new start that you guys are doing. And so think of it as birthing. Some of you guys are mothers some of you guys are fathers, but think of it as birthing, right? For you mothers, how painful that was to have a new beginning. And that's the same thing that you're doing right now. You're birthing a new beginning. So there are birthing pains, right? And a lot of this is leaving in a relationship, I feel like for some of you guys, or still looking back on the relationship you left. You've made the right decision and it took a lot of strength for you to do that, but you guys will be blessed and you will find justice in the um, aftermath of the decision. A lot of you, you only see it because you're in the storm, but if you can see with your spiritual eye, you will know that the beginning to this start after this ending is gorgeous. Um, it's just having the faith and trusting a win-win outcome. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about success in winning. Now, another key is moving forward. For you guys i feel like it's really not looking back right there's nothing back there you're evolving it's unfortunate that we we evolve and surpass some of our friends family members and things of that nature however there's a win-win situation in the outcome so you guys can definitely be a cancer you don't have to be and leo and libra is kind of what i'm seeing here too you don't have to be that's just some signs that i'm picking up possibility right let's see what this says raise your standards key to success is your standards so a lot of us are like i want success but we have to raise our standards in order to receive them also elevate your expectations right what you are going to receive elevate that just a little bit more right for yourself and also you have unlimited potential this, these decisions that you guys are making you you're protecting what matters to you the most which is happiness and peace but this decision that you're making right now is also opening up so many possibilities for you. A lot more abundance, a lot more success in your life. And actually the sky is the limit for you. There is no ceiling. Passion. What excites you? Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. So a lot of you are kind of, you know, it's hard to take this leap and it's hard to move forward in this decision. Um, but after you make this decision and come out of this confusion, to elevate your energy and your levels, you're being asked to figure out what ignites you. What, what are you passionate about? What excites you? You have unlimited potential, right? The sky is the limit for you guys. There is no ceiling 
for you and you're learning that but there's like a low level that you guys are trying to get out of on your way to success and a lot of this is letting go of the things and the people and the circumstances to receive the new in the beginning. It's the pain that you guys are in with having to make this decision or having to make this decision on your way to success. So the key is also to do what excites you. This is going to bring in the most success for you because remember, in this energy of excitement is when we're able to manifest even more rapidly. Healer, so a lot of you are healing, yes. That's what I'm feeling like. It's it's like a breakup or, or, or you're getting ready to break up or you're trying to make a decision. A lot of you guys are in like the middle of the road of making this decision. And so it's getting back on your feet or finding yourself after you've lost yourself. So it does feel like a relationship for you, but it's also the job too. So with the success in your life, um, a lot of your blockages seem to be emotional but you have powerful healing gifts, have faith in your ability, stay true to your path as a healer. So a lot of you are healing yourself on your way to success so that you can be in a position to receive success as well. Let's see what else is going on. Flow, letting things flow, not trying to control the outcome for some of you guys, right? And making the decision, doing what excites you, but just allowing things to kind of take its course. Teaching, some of you guys are made to uh, be in spirituality or teach or help others heal or get out of situations that you are into. This seems to be a key to your success is teaching others what you've been through. This is going to also unlock some doors and some opportunities for you. It doesn't have to be a career, but as you open up and express yourself or share your story with other people, even if it's a friend, you're going to start seeing more and more of who you are is what I'm getting. Strengthening bonds. So yeah, a lot of you, you're making these decisions. And if there are some of you who feel lonely or alone or feeling as if you don't have many people around, you are also in a place of strengthening bonds. And also, like I always say, the universe, God, whatever you believe is protecting you right now. You're in a place of protecting. You're still healing. Um, some of you are healing and it's not even a relationship. It's just healing in general that's necessary on your way to success, right? And so strengthening your bonds with your intuition is a huge key as well. And being able to be guided on your path to success because your intuition wants to take you there. These dreams that you have, this vision that you have, it's been given to you. And so there is help to guide you as well. Refusing to see. So some of you are in the situation still or questioning the situation, but you're refusing to see the truth. This card, I always tell you guys, his eyes are closed, but the eye at the top, the spiritual eye, the third eye, is open. This is his spiritual eye of guidance. This is his spirituality, but also intuition. His intuition guides him. That's also a key to your success. You're rebuilding. Like I said, you're rebirthing. And so this is painful to tear down everything that you've built, whether it's a job that you guys been at for some time, whether it's you guys going to school and feeling like, mm, this is probably not for me. You're learning to rebuild, but some of you are Some of you are afraid to lose your investment. It's like I've spent so much time at this place or in this relationship. So much time building this friendship. So much time, so much money, so much effort. And a lot of you feel like letting it go is like letting go of all of your hard work or a lot of your, a lot of your, it's like what I'm seeing is something that you guys have built, right? It's this old life that you guys are trying to leave from in order to walk into the doors of success However, it's like you don't want to tear it down because it's a representation of your success that you felt like was success at the time. But now it's like the universe or God is saying, we're going to have to tear that down to rebuild a bigger home. And now the home is not material. It's, I'm not saying it from a tangible place of an actual home. Literally, what I'm saying is figuratively, your life was is a representation of this house that you built. And so a lot of you just don't want to let it go because it's like, oh, that's everything that I... Mm. But the universe is like, come on now, knock that down. I have something way bigger for you. Success that you really want, right? And so it's, you know, letting go of that. And that could be hard. So you are rebuilding right now. New vitality. New. That is your guys' word and key to success. Something new. We have to break out of this place of comfort. But new energy, new vitality is here, okay? 
divine guidance. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. The search for meaning in life. So a lot of you have been distracted also, and now you're just now getting on this path of divine guidance. So a lot of you guys that are going through this decision that you have to make or have made, you're starting to attract better teachers, better guidance in the divine and intuition to be able to guide you. So almost like this was set up to, to get you on the path of success, to connect with your um, intuition to get there. So nine of Michael, your worry is unnecessary. There's some worries here, some anxiety about these decisions. Some of you have not made the decision yet, but you know it's certainly time because the universe is trying to prepare you for more, for success, the success that you desire, right? And focus on your thoughts and the outcome that you desire. So you guys are being asked to meditate on that vision of the life that you want, whether that's traveling, the new house, the dream car, what is success to you? What is the meaning? So if you don't know what success is, then how can you visualize the outcome? And that's where you guys are right now, releasing your feelings of regret. Uh, what did I say in the beginning? Like some of you guys are feeling like, mm, did I make the right decision or am I making the right decision? Because the old is what you're used to. It's this comfort zone, but you're learning how to release the guilt, have compassion for yourself of, of the, the time that it took for you to get here. It's okay that it took you this much time. You still have plenty of time to be successful. So there's not an, there's not a time limit. There's not an age limit. There's not a requirement for success. Okay. And so you guys are learning how to release feelings of regret and, and guilt and worry right? You don't need that. And so that's also where the divine comes into play. Soul expansion. You guys are expanding. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> like I said, birthing, right? Oh man. The fact that I have to use this example, but you know, bear with me, the birthing, you know, for the baby to come through it, there's, there's, you know, you're following me expansion is necessary. It's uncomfortable, right? It's almost like you outgrew the space in which your life was, whether it's that small, tiny house, whether it's the canal and the baby is just outgrowing it. You are just outgrowing that space. And so it is uncomfortable, but you're getting prepared for expansion. But here's the cool part. You understand the connections and you will understand the connections after you've taken the leap and made the decision. All right, let's get into these other cards. Birthing. Okay. I swear to you guys, I do not see these cards. I just kind of shuffle into my little decks and then I present it to you guys. But the fact that this says birthing, I'm just saying, that's all. I'm just saying, maybe, I don't know. I'm just saying, birthing new creations. Okay. Dreaming a new world into being. You're creating, you're creating. So you're birthing, right? Ah, it's beautiful. Protection, call back your power, cut the cord. Some of you know it's time to cut the cord. Hmm. I'm, you guys, I'm preaching. The priest is definitely here today because cut the cord. Are you following me, birthing? Cut the umbilical cords in your life. I don't, I've never had a child, but it seems like I feel like I'm, I'm feeling like maybe I have because this seems all too familiar for me. Cut the cord so that you can, what, be free. Imagine the baby still with the umbilical cord. Like, uh, you have to be free, okay? So you're cutting the cords and you're, revi you're retrieving your soul back. Soul, soul seems to be a big thing too. These are all keys to your success. Deep replenishment and retreat after you make this decision. Take a damn break, sit down, take some rest, and also rid these old energies right? I'm feeling like you guys might need to cleanse or fast or just get into a space of just releasing all of this old energy. Okay. So you can make room for the new, but take a break. You know, this decision is heavy on your heart. So take a break as you're expanding. Seven of Gabriel, stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, personal power. That's also this relationship is that you're leaving for personal power. Six of Ariel, Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, act of kindness, receiving and giving. So you guys will be blessed with abundance because of your heart. 
also materials so again like i said some of you have these dream houses and dream cars and in dream islands or whatever it is that you you feel like is your success it is coming to you because of your heart okay also solutions success that comes from objective compromise compromise self-control and patience forgiving and healing energy didn't we have healer healing for you too also is forgiveness loving loving the people that you are having compassion but loving the people that you have had to let go of but also the people in your job or the people that you feel like you're letting down it is also forgiving yourself but also healing from the things that have happened so this success is coming from the compromise right if we could just get a close-up on that your success is coming from this compromise it will soon make sense as the success comes your way epiphany some of you guys are having realizations like uh, well it's time to go right and joy through spiritual growth be a light to others answers that come through meditation like i said meditating on what your vision the outcome right you're having this epiphany like uh, maybe this is not for me maybe this isn't my life you're right and three of michael and Knight of Ariel. So there's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone. And also three of Michael. Release the past. You will grow from the situation. This is all past energy that you guys are releasing. Time heals all wounds. Also, it's crazy because I'm wearing this shirt. It says, be love, heal the planet. I truly believe that as you shift into the frequency of love, you will heal yourself and others. Love is a part of healing, okay? Now, your main card is, I wonder what will happen next. Oh, man. Ready for adventure. A recipe of change. Pausing before action. So some of you guys are like running to the cliff and you're like, hmm, I wonder what's going to happen after I leave or take this leap of faith, leave this job, leave this relationship. And so that's where you are right now. And you are relying on your intuition and the divine and your spiritual self to help you determine what is next for you. But it is not for you to be afraid because you don't know what's next. That is a huge key for your guys' success as well. It's just because you don't know what's next doesn't mean you can't take the leap of faith. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading in the key to unlocking your success. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. I'm going to move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in the key to unlocking your success. Some of you are waiting for success. You know it's approaching, but it, it, it has yet to present itself. Like I've been telling the other groups, success is subjective. So... Success is just merely an opinion um, measured by how you feel like you define it. I guess someone's going to have to quote me in the comment section. A lot of you are on your own path and it's for the purpose of discovering your greatness and understanding that you have the power to manifest anything that you desire. A lot of you are also dreaming a lot or have a lot of dreams that are seemingly ambitious, they're not too great. They're not too great of a dream. Um, but with the Hermit card, you guys are learning. You, you can be a Virgo, you don't have to be, but you're learning how to be the light in your own path. And it's almost like not waiting for other people to make decisions for you when it comes to your success being the pilot of your own plane and not allowing someone else to be the pilot and you be the passenger. So a lot of you are taking back control over your life in the efforts of attaining success. Yeah, and also the key is going after it. What are you waiting for? That's, that's literally my question. With the three of wands, you are just waiting. Why? Don't allow other people to dictate your destiny because you're waiting for them to make decisions for you. 
it's about manifesting it yourself. So that's also the key that you're learning. Six of wands. I am proud of what I achieved and I accept my rewards. It seems like you are going to be acknowledged. Also, this is part of your success is acknowledgement. The Empress I create and I choose naturally with joy. This also tells me that you guys are creators and a lot of you are entrepreneurs as well. King of Cups, I am my own anchor. So this is about owning individuality and independence. Understanding that the God, the source that we hear from, that I hear from, that you hear from, or whatever you choose to believe is also within. So this higher self, future self, and spirituality, I feel very strongly, and I have not looked at this deck, I feel like something about belief is has, have, has to be here because you guys need to establish what it is that you uh, believe in. So it's going to be about your beliefs as far as the spiritual aspect of manifesting. When you know who you are, you also understand why you have the ability to manifest. That's kind of where you guys are in unlocking the key to success is understanding who you are and the power that you actually have within yourself. Let's see what else we have here. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So I have everything I need to prosper. You're made to be prosperous. And I also feel like a lot of you will be acknowledged. Like that's part of the success is the acknowledgement of the work that you're doing, whatever that is. You're definitely a creator and you're meant to be prosperous. However, it's about you taking your power back and going after this prosperity on your own. Yeah. Abundance. So you guys are made to be, a lot of you are fountains of abundance and made to have a lot of money as well, but it's not just taking control of your pilot or control of your plane and becoming the pilot, but actually doing what you love to do. What are you passionate about doing? Enjoy the bounties of life. Blessings are coming. So you guys are definitely made to be abundant and have a lot when it comes to finances, like finances and rewards and achievements seem to be part of your success in whatever you're doing in the endeavors that you are currently conquering miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. So a lot of you are in your head about how you can make this happen. And here's the thing is that this comes from a place of understanding that you're being guided divinely, right? But also that you're a creator by nature. You can create these things just as we create life. You are also creating miracles in life in your current state that you're in. Now, this is also about the mindset that you have is you have this big dream. A lot of you have great dreams, big dreams, and you psych yourself out. And that's kind of where the fear of going after this is coming from. But on the other side, it seems that there is a miracle. The only thing that's waiting is having faith. So these things that you're going to manifest is not going to be logically. It's not going to be based on your logical plan of, I feel like this is what I should be doing to obtain success. A lot of you are overthinking it. A lot of you are overthinking this decision and not understanding that you don't need anything to be able to manifest. So for some of you, you're already elevated in the place that you're at. You know that you're supposed to be abundant, but it's also having faith in yourself just as much as you have faith in others, but also it's unlocking the power that you have within you. And uh, this feels like a lot of kind of what I'm doing. So you guys could desire to be creators or have more, or you know that there's acknowledgement or you feel like you could be for some of you guys meant to be well known in the industry that you're in. It's definitely coming. However, the universe is telling you to stop waiting and to actually go after it with creating heaven on earth and happening. You guys also are here to create and manifest your dreams into reality. And this could be very scary. So some of you are having these dreams and these visions of these great ideas that you have. Like I know that in my last sessions this week, a lot of us have great dreams and sometimes we're even kind of 
particular or hesitant of announcing them to others because we're afraid of what others will say and then they'll say that's too big and how are you going to do that how are you going to achieve that and so a lot of this is also believing in yourself and believing that you have the power to manifest this dream and create it so uh, you guys the key to the success is self-discovery who are you it's not just the truth it's self-discovery and the truth is one what do you believe in source god what do you believe in and that's where the miracles are coming from as well is that this is a spiritual journey a lot of you guys are trying to make it very practical and like i tell a lot of the people that i'm coaching one plus one is two but th that's not how the universe works that's not how god whatever you believe in higher self works it's not like okay if you go to the store i'm gonna do this on aisle three and make this business plan and this is gonna happen no, the universe is going to direct you through inspiration and intuition or excitement. As you follow that, then you will meet someone or something will happen, whatever the universe has designed for you. And next thing you know, it's like the 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 dream that the life that you wanted is right in front of you or the business plan is now presented or, or now it makes sense. For some of you, um, you may have heard my story about tarot, but I for the past 10 years have been on this journey of entrepreneurship and business and marketing and branding. And so I've been doing a lot of that and I've known in my heart. And that's why I say for some of you, I feel like this is you too, is I know that I was supposed to be great. I know that I was supposed to be well known for the fact of me having so much to say, to set people free, to give financial, spiritual, and mental freedom to the people. I just knew in my heart. And so what I did was I took matters into my own hand and I went out and I wrote six books, which I've, I haven't released just yet because again, I'm just now getting into this tarot stuff, but I had this entire plan of how this was going to happen. I had three business plans. I actually, that's so crazy because it reminds me when I went to college and I had this class and I forgot what my professor's name was, but I walked in there, right? And she talks about the syllabus and she says, the the syllabus and the final, because you know you have a final to where 20% of your grade, is writing a business plan. I unzipped my backpack, I pulled out my business plan, I said, oh, well, I already have that. She wrote on my business plan, because she already knew like I had everything like figured out and stuff, and I've already pretty much came in there because I knew who I was. And she wrote at the top of it, she said, A plus, see you when you're famous. Like that just gives me chills because it's like, you just don't know this whole entire life is just like a big puzzle and a mystery and we're just piecing it together and we're like but i know i'm supposed to be great i know i'm supposed to do these things and so i had this dream of creating heaven on earth and my vision was an awake planet a planet of freedom of love of peace of these things and i'm just thinking how the hell am i going to do that so again like i said i wrote the books i did all these things and i sold like one book and i'm like okay i'm smart why isn't this happening? Surrender the how. I tried to take matters into my own hands. And then uh, what are we in now? For those of you guys, this video is timeless, but I started in June, July of 2019 actually doing tarot. Like I kind of messed around with it, but then now I'm here and I'm like, okay, this is funny, you know, because I had this plan. And so it's the same thing with you guys. It's just like, you know that you have this big dream, but then as it's revealed to us, which is why some of us don't aren't really revealed to the vision all the way because we freak out. We're like, how am I going to do that? Like, and that's what the universe is saying. Move out of the way. I gave you the vision. See, I should have never told you what it was. You know how, how we talk to children. Like, I should have never told you you're going to Chuck E. Cheese. Now you're going to be. So that's kind of like what the universe is saying. Like, get out of the way. Surrender the how and let me work. Right? So some of you guys are in your own head and you psych yourself out. And so take the vision in that you have for yourself. You're not crazy. You're meant for greatness and follow the path. Back to the reading. All right. So don't dim to fit in. Like I said, do not dim to fit in. I never fit in. I never fit, fit in anywhere. Same thing with you. How are you dimming your light in order to fill in? So hesitant about you know announcing some of these dreams you have some of you want to be inventors entrepreneurs have franchises and chains and um even if it's not that it's like i some of you just have small dreams of living on like a little tiny hut on an island somewhere in peace and that's your success and that's okay but 
it's almost like your friends are getting ready to shift too. That's a key to your success is your soul tribe surrounding yourself with people who are inspiring you to prosper that when you do release your dream, they're like, wow, I believe you can do that. And not the friends who are like, oh, well, good luck. You know how many people told me that now look at me. <laughs> That's funny. You know what I'm saying? Like it's this fitting in your net. You're not meant to fit in. You're meant to achieve and have these rewards and be different. So you guys are all going through these things and it, I feel heavily like that it resonates with me. And so Knight of Michael, intelligent, strong, com committed, and intellectual. So a lot of you are very intellectual, but it, it's surrendering that too so that the divine can work, source can work, whatever you believe. Time to move quickly, choose logic over emotions, sudden changes. So getting out of your head also, dedicated effort, putting in time. Don't start something and don't finish it. Plan Plant the seed and, and keep watering it until you see results. Don't give up so quickly on your guys' ideas is also what I'm hearing. Observing, observing who you are, observing your surroundings, observing your friends. These are all the keys to your success. It's almost like your whole life is shifting. And what I'm hearing for you is put yourself in the reality. If you believe that you're supposed to be well-known or a YouTuber or a creator or any of these things that I have mentioned, Start dressing like it. Start talking like it. Surround yourself around friends. Some of you guys, I know even me, was driving a hoopty. And this car was like 1995. And my dad got it for me for like $200. And he said, here you go, kid, for graduating. And I drove that car like I knew that I was going to someday be in my dream car. Like I drove it like it was already the dream car. Even when I was parking it way on the other side of the parking lot, pretending as if, okay, please don't scratch my car. Just becoming it is what is creating the success for you. Just shifting and becoming it. I already love group number three. I can't wait to see you guys comment down below, but observing, right? Observing your surrounding, shifting in your uh, with your friends, surrounding yourself around people who are prosperous, feeling alone. Welcome to the group. It is very challenging to have these dreams and to not feel alone like they say it is lonely at the top that is just some people's beliefs but it is also for you guys to gain connection and strengthen the bonds within your intuition and higher self because you can have a, a conversation with yourself and not be some of you are judgmental around like actually achieving these things because you're hard on yourself but as far as feeling alone what better companion to have than your higher self who already sees where you're going is what I'm saying too. So some of you are just like, well, if I don't dim my life to dim my light to fit in, I know that my surroundings are going to change. All right, let's see what else we have. Love abounds. Love is everywhere. This is also part of a lot of your guys' purpose to create because you love it. Doing what you love, being in that energy of what you love. Don't let pride get in your way. This is the ego. Like I said, with me, I'm just like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. Gonna write these books and free these people. Yes, though I'm intelligent, I still had to surrender to the source, God, whatever, so that I can surrender my tiny little plan that I have for myself for a bigger plan that source had for me. And so I had to release this pride. You guys could be a Leo, you don't have to be, but putting that pride aside and just saying, okay, I don't know how to achieve these things, but I'm open to learning. All right. So that's also, that's also what you guys are learning as well. The sun, definitely Leo energy. Um, and not just Leo energy, but that confidence of, of being in the crowd or speaking up, not having the fear of being in the spotlight. For some of you guys, you have that. The sun, life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So you guys are on your way to success and happiness. It's just these little adjustments and the keys to unlocking these things um, that are going to bring a lot of abundance in your life. But also for the most part, it's being, uh, being grateful, having gratitude for where you are, not being so hard on yourself for where you believe you should be. Nine of Gabriel, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activist. So again, like I said, you are an activist or a lot of you are leaders um, or going to be well-known. Also, for some of you who don't have that well-known thing, you might just desire, like I said, to have that little place on an island. Now that's okay. That is your success. For the most of you, you're very determined to move forward. Don't look back at the decisions that you made and judging yourself for those decisions. Just be grateful for where you are today. 
this is wan energy as well so a lot of you guys are tired i remember that too of just trying and trying and getting nothing no success no results it wasn't until i surrender and let go of my itty bitty little plan that i thought was so great and again opened myself up so Four of Gabriel, time for celebration. A lot of you guys are coming together. Abundant rewards for hard work. It's coming. It is coming. Like I said, November 2019, harvest season. Even if you guys are in the future watching this video in 2020, still harvest season, okay? It's time for celebration. Release yourself from the situation. If it's burdensome, it's because you're taking on too much. Five of Michael, get out of your head, okay? This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking more of, of an uplifting approach. Some of you guys just need to chill and let this happen and get out of the way, right? Get out of your head. It's, it's a battle within yourself because you know you're great. So you feel like you have to prove that you're great to prove to yourself that this is true. But you are great. It is true. Allow it to happen. All right. Last but not least, stay grounded. All right. Earth connection. Be mindful. Come back to Earth. Stay grounded. Stay grounded. Don't let anything throw you off your course. Okay, and the last card is no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. <sighs> it is a challenge. And um, even for myself, I used to watch Steve Jobs, the movie and the Walt Disney, Walt Before Disney. That's actually a great movie, too, if you guys are interested. And just seeing how these people became so great. I was infatuated with this in the process. And I just felt like I was just stuck. I knew I was supposed to be powerful and great, but I was just stuck. And so what I'm telling you is that don't forget who you are and don't allow circumstances and failures or the things that are occurring in your life to convince you that you're not powerful and that you're not great or to convince you that you're too, you're too ambitious or you're too much of a dreamer. Don't forget how powerful you truly are. All right, group number three, don't forget to comment down below. I'll be looking out for your group in particular um, to give you guys back some words of encouragement. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what is the key to unlocking your success? Eight of cups. Already, I feel like some of you guys <laughs> You start jobs, you quit jobs, you start jobs, you quit jobs. You go to a job and you get afraid to start this new beginning. And then you just keep starting all over at these same jobs for a few of you. And also, if you guys are worried about money, again, like I told the other decks, success is subjective, merely based on opinion that you choose to define it by. A lot of you are at war or conflict with yourself when it comes to receiving more abundance and leaving jobs or ending situations. A lot of you have problems letting go so that you can start new beginnings and being open to new opportunities. Let's see also what this is about. Ace of Pentacles, I will always be rewarded for what I do. You have success coming to you. Seven of Pentacles, I trust my ideas and direction. So that's the problem is that you guys are off and on. So some of you have these goals and desires of financial freedom or starting a starting a business that will bring in more income or a side project and you just don't have enough trust or faith in it. So you start a job and you take a leap and then you go back. For some of you guys, that's what I'm feeling. But it's also having a lack of trust in your ideas and your direction the world so celebrate and welcome new energy some of you guys have a desire to travel okay and you have new beginnings but you start and you stop or you hesitate to accepting this new beginning and that's because a lot of you are not walking away from your certain situations because you're lacking trust and it seems like we have direction and direction here and even with eight of cups this is about direction and movement and it's almost like you start going in the right direction, but you go back due to fear and doubt. The moon card, you guys could be a Pisces. You don't have to be a Pisces, but you have to understand that your intuition guides you to the right decision. So a lot of you are not sure which decisions to make. And this is also because you're not really making decisions based on your intuition. You're making decisions based on your fears. 
And also a huge key to unlocking your success is focusing on your subconscious. A lot of you have subconscious limiting beliefs that you're unaware of that are also blocking success and money from coming to you. And six of swords, yeah. So this is transitioning from the past. There's just a lot of off and on energy with a lot of the things that you guys are doing, whether it's starting projects or starting to book that vacation, but then you just, you're like, ah, eh, well, I don't know if I wanna spend that. And so your intuition or your higher self has been trying to lead you to this new beginning of new energy, new excitement, and you guys are afraid. So let's keep getting into it. Five of Swords, yeah, this is double five. This is inner conflict. This is things that have happened. You guys are also afraid of rejection or things not working out for you, but you guys have to up overcome these things by understanding that closed doors are just also there to guide you in the right direction. So every door that you go through, if it's not the door for you, it's okay, it's closed. Now you can move on to the next door. But some of you are just not closing these doors completely, whether it's jobs or relationships or ideas, or you guys are starting something and you don't feel like it's manifesting and you quit, you quit too early. Some of you are quitting too soon. You're not even allowing things to take place. It's like you're getting ready to get on the, the racing line, right? And they're like on your mark and then you don't even, that's it. You're just like, nah, I'm out of here. Like you don't even let them say, good set, go. No, you're just, you don't even give yourself a chance to kind of do this. You just kind of run back to the same things because you're afraid of not being successful. You're afraid of it actually. And so it's mental for you. It's mentally, your success is going to be success mentally. Peace is going to be a great form of success for you. Adjustments are required. Yeah, this is in the mental state. These adjustments that are necessary. Clarity of belief. There's that card that I've been talking about. What do you believe in? A lot of you have not really gotten too far into your spiritual journey. I feel like some of you are just now starting. Remember when I say spirit, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about your connection with another dimension that is not physical, right? Your intuition, excitement, love, these things are all frequencies, right? But you guys have to establish what you believe in. This also has to do with believing in yourself in order to make these things happen. Trusting your ideas, but also trusting in your intuition. Confront. Yeah, there's a lot of things that need to be confronted subconsciously that are hindering your beliefs. For some of you, you guys may have grew up in poverty or have struggled financially. So that's all you kind of know growing up. And it seems like you guys are just getting by. For some of you, you're just getting by or you're in survival mode all the time. And this is, this is what needs to be confronted. These things from childhood, these beliefs that you have about success need to be confronted with the moon card. Remember, the moon card sheds light, but not too much light. There's a lot of hidden things underneath the moon. Now, if it was the sun, it'd be different. Everything's kind of standing out. But with the moon, it just tells me that there are some things about yourself that you're unaware of. I'm even hearing for some of you also is discover who you are, your identity. That's going to be big too. But there's some things from childhood um, that need to be confronted and some beliefs that you guys have around spirituality. So some of you may have grown up in a religious background. Goddess. So you guys are also coming out of this identity of who you thought you were. And a lot of you are transitioning into goddess and God, gods and goddess. And that's just a creator. So you're learning how to be a creator and creating your own reality. But like I said, there are a lot of limiting beliefs around spirituality also. So you may have grown up in a religious background. You don't have to. Or if that's the case, there is something that has happened around religion that can also be in the way of you connecting with higher self. Now, goddess is also about your inner beauty. Okay. So you're learning yourself right now. You guys, the key to unlocking success is first understanding who you are. And then you will understand why you have the ability to manifest and create the life that you truly desire. Let's see what's going on. What else is going on? Yeah. Releasing. It's releasing old energy. It's releasing these fears that you have from childhood, releasing the fear of not ever having more than enough also or surviving or feeling like you always have to be in survival mode or always hustling or always trying to make things happen. Like a lot of you are just looking for a break. 
listen so your higher self has been trying to guide you listening also with the third eye chakra here it's about tuning into to your spirit that is kind of what has been blocking you from success as well is this lack of disconnect with spirit and understanding who you are so your life has basically been a settle you've been settling in your life because that's who you thought you were as you shift and become you the goddess that you're meant to be the god goddess you're meant to be then your life shifts so your life has been attracted to the identity that you have been being but now as you shift into being a goddess you will have more of a heaven like life or reality so it's also about understanding who you are and what you're meant to have choose your battles okay so um, again, your battles, it seems to be mentally with uh, conflicting about if you're ever going to be successful, if you're ever going to have the desires of your heart, these questions that you're having, this is a battle within yourself. No one else is stopping you from this, from success, except for you. You're the only one in the way right now is your thoughts too, your thoughts about yourself and what you believe you can achieve. And also there are some fears. So you guys have been through some things. There is some trauma and some fears of failure, fears of not having, fears of survival, fears of lack. These are the fears that are blocking your success. The key to success is releasing these fears, but you must confront them first. A lot of them you don't even know. You're not even aware of because of the moon card. the wheel we have the wheel and the world so things are turning in your favor and a new beginning has been waiting for you new beginnings end of delays a change in direction that offers happiness so it's like when you guys do take this change and you make this decision you kind of go back on your word so you don't allow enough time for the new beginning to occur and that's another thing is that you guys start it and then you stop it start it and stop it new beginning end of delays a change in direction that offers happiness this is the third card now that we have direction, okay? Some of you guys, again, you're going the wrong way, and that's because you're af you're afraid of the unknown and what to expect and if it's ever going to happen. So you just take matters into your own hands in making this you feel like happen for yourself. However, it's about your direction. Where are you going? Where is your, where is your final destination? Where is that de destination for you? That is the desires of your heart. And some of you are questioning whether or not you will ever get there. Awareness. So living in the moment, not living in the past, not living in the future, but living in the moment. Also being conscious of your thoughts. Again, remember what I said, your thoughts right now are hindering your success believing that you can achieve it and things of that nature. Look for signs and guidance. <clears throat> Prosperity. So you guys were made to have more. We have two aces here. So you guys are made for financial and in, in particular for you, group number four, you are made for prosperity. So success and prosperity are parallel to each other for what you're meant to have in this lifetime. So a gift of money, it's on its way. You guys are also receiving opportunities. As you shift and just learn how to believe in yourself and let things go and stop fighting yourself or stop being at war with yourself mentally, then prosperity is going to come your way and money and manage your finances as well. Money is coming your way, finances coming your way, but also managing your finances and trusting in the direction towards more prosperity. So some of you have already been feeling like you deserve more money and prosperity and you're actually correct you're made for abundance let's see what your guys is yeah so i feel like again it's about connecting with spirit and allowing spirit to guide you into the right door so with us right if you're going down a hall there's 10 doors logically we're gonna see which door is best for us however if you're in connection with your higher self future self whatever you choose to believe you will know which door is right and you will save time going through each door. That's the benefit of a spiritual connection. For, for you, again, with your clarity of belief, it's, it's you're just now starting this brink of spirituality. Some of you guys started it and stopped it, but for the most part, you haven't really allowed yourself to elevate and expand your consciousness, but you're not also in a place of understanding just yet what 
having that connection with your spirit actually is going to offer you and benefit from. And that's just one of the things is that you will know the right direction. You won't have to drive down every single road to see if this is the road to the destiny that could take a lot of time. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So a lot of you guys are afraid to take the leap of faith, starting your own businesses, quitting this job, leaving this relationship. Um, these are all the things that you feel like you're questioning whether or not you should leave. Remember, it's not from a place of love. It's more of the decisions in your life that you've made for yourself are out of fear. And so universe, basically what I'm hearing is like, there needs to be a new world, a new world where you're welcoming new energy and celebrating life and living a life through love and not staying at this job because you're afraid or fearing that you will have lack. Staying in certain situations, circumstances, relationships, jobs, careers, any situation out of fear is not going to produce or, or produce success or manifest success for you guys. So it is essential that you trust your path and understand that you are supported. Now the support and this trust comes from your intuition, but you have to have an established relationship to be able to trust, to take the leap of faith and walk down that path. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking it. So again, a lot of you are hard on yourself. You are made to be very prosperous. You're questioning how this will happen or when will you have enough to have a break? It's, it seems like for you, it's more about just having more than enough. And so a lot of you are overthinking decisions that need to be made and uh, being afraid of making this decision, but you know it's the right decision that needs to be made <laughs> again. So this knowing is your intuition, but you're already doing it. You're already in a place of being able to manifest more prosperity. You don't have to overthink it. It's not some strategic plan of making this much money or doing this. Um, you're, you're just like, it's, it's almost like you want to start this new journey, but you don't know how. So you're overthinking it. You're taking it into your own hands. And again, this is due to the disconnect with you and spirit. Okay. We have the two of Gabriel, the two of wands decisions. Again, make bold and ambitious choices. So make the decisions that are going to help you grow. Don't stay in certain situations because you're afraid or of what's going to come or fear. Again, this does not produce anything. This doesn't uh, help you manifest success. Make bold decisions, important relationships with people who share your vision. So also your surroundings, the people that you're with, it's time to transition that so that you can have better energy, new energy for you as well. People who see you as the goddess that you are also is important and pivotal to your keys to success. Three of Gabriel. So this is about prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So again, prosperity. You're made for prosperity. You are literally abundant. That is part of the frequency that is embedded in your DNA. If you chose group number four, this is what I'm telling you. You are made for prosperity. You're made to be abundant. So if you guys are wondering why you had a lot of things going on in childhood, or if you struggled with poverty, or you struggled in general to have your own or your own independence, or with money, or jobs that paid you what you deserve, or, or whatever the case may be with you, it is also because it's the universe is trying to get you to a place of more greatness, also more success. And so you will have help. You will have, um, you will have prosperity come in. A lot of you have just been waiting for this and it's definitely time due to the fact that you are releasing again with the releasing. I didn't get to touch much on that, but releasing a lot of these situations ships in general that you've held on to out of fear. Your life, like a lot of the decisions that have been made are just because of the fear of lack. Queen of Ariel, mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. So a lot of you have an energy of transformation, being able to transform things. So again, if you've been through some struggles as a child or younger, it is also to prepare you for the fact that you're a transformer. You're able to create 
um, dreams into reality. And also I'm hearing that once you find yourself, there's really nothing you have to do for prosperity. It will literally find you. So I'm hearing don't chase money. Don't chase it. You are made for it. If you chase it, it's because you believe that you're not made for it. Um, Page of Raphael. This is gentle, loving, dreaming over heart. So the Page of Cups, this is about a new emotional situation. Messages regarding re relationships or social invitation. Great intuitive insights. So it's almost like you guys will attract people that will help you become abundant as well. So if you guys have attracted people lately or will, or you will attract people that have more abundance that are going to inspire you to have more, a lot of your circumstances have become your reality. So the reason why I'm saying that is because due to the struggle or the fears that you have, you're looking at a reality based off of that. And you're getting ready to shift that. So an, another key to your success is surrounding yourself around people who are dreaming, who are looking um, to support you and see you for who you are. This is also going to help you ignite and get closer to success. So a lot of you will be sent people who will help you on your endeavors to prosperity. Ace of Michael. So this is the Ace of Swords. And this is all about a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress clear up communication problems with others. So it looks like you're gonna have a team. A lot of you, I feel like entrepreneurs and you're you're literally just made to be prosperous. You are abundant. There is no money or abundance apart from you. And that's what you're learning as well with success is that this is all a mental battle. And this is also all of your fears of taking a leap of faith, but sticking, sticking to it also and doubting yourself. So, a wonderful new idea. Some of you guys are going to be awakened to new ideas as you shift your energy, as you surround yourself around more inspiring people, and also as you start making decisions based on love and excitement and not out of fear and anxiety. Okay? A moment's regret. Manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions. So a lot of this is about putting yourself first and also not feeling bad about being happy. So... You going after your own individual happiness, I, I feel like some of you have friends or relationships or family members that you're just simply outgrowing. And that's because they choose to stay in a poverty mindset. And you are not, you are not meant to live in poverty. You are meant, you specifically who I'm talking to are meant to live in abundance and prosperity. So a lot of your surroundings are discouraging you. So you will be you will have survivor's remorse or you will have happiness remorse where you're doing things and you're being prosperous and people think that you've changed or um, how can you do this? This is also going to be something that you have to deal with as far as guilt for being happy, for simply putting yourself first and being the person you were made to be. A lot of you guys are dimming yourself to kind of fit in with people. You're outgrowing people based on your energy and being and welcoming new energy into coming with you. So regardless of your conditions, being happy. So that job that doesn't make you happy, the cer certain si situation that you're in that doesn't make you happy, also I feel like you're being challenged to shift that energy and being happy and grateful for it. And then the universe is going to open up new doors of prosperity or whatever circumstance that you're currently in. And then fearing you've made a mistake. So a lot of you, that's why you guys keep going back to certain decisions or um, going back over past business ideas that you had or leaving jobs or feeling bad about leaving because of your manager or your friends or other employees or living up to these expectations. You're fearing that you'd make, you make wrong the wrong decision. And so in your head, you've already left or in your head, you are thinking about this new energy that you're having, but also looking back and seeing, did I make a mistake? So this is just for a few of you guys. But for the most part, this is all about your happiness, following these new ideas, allowing new energy to come in. And then also when you start something, just give yourself a chance to be successful. Don't take the leap of faith and then freak out and then run back because things are not happening rapidly. Have the patience to do so. And most importantly, discover what it is that you truly believe in um, spiritually. Start gaining back that confidence with spirit and that relationship so that you can also be revealing your true authentic self 
So, you know, if I have a MacBook computer, I'm not gonna take it to HP, I'm not gonna take it to Windows to fix it. I'm gonna take it to what? Mac, the creator. So a lot of you guys are being asked to go to the divine, the source in God, and ask, who am I? And why, why am I here? And that's where you reveal the goddess and who you're supposed to be, and your life will also shift. That is a huge, huge key to your success is your spiritual path and journey because prosperity and abundance is simply frequency and energy. It is not apart from you. It is within you. And that's what you're learning. If you guys picked group number four, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some comments of encouragement back to you guys. Also, thank you so much for tuning in to this pick a card reading. Until next time, I will see you guys. Love and light to you.